<laughs> Welcome back my lovelies. Today, Andre and I, we're going to test some really, really highly rated baby monitors. So we have three very different technologies. We're gonna start with the first one. This one right here has what, like over 36,000 reviews, super highly rated, and it retails at 165 US dollars and 99 cents. This is a good old technology, it's just... You have the monitor. Non nonsense technology, yeah. Camera. Monitor, camera, audio, couple lenses, and it just works flawlessly. Or that's what people say. You can remote pan, tilt and zoom, interchangeable lenses, power saving mode, 3.5 inch screen. And this one you were saying that it does have the per privacy protection on this. Yeah, because it's not through your phone, you know. Yes. So let's try it out. Yeah. See how good it is. Yeah, let's do it. Andre's gonna spy on me. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm joking. Or maybe I could. Okay. So you do have several options for the battery. I'm just looking right now. You can just use. You have to charge the battery first, which is I'm charging right now with the USB from the laptop, or you have just a regular plug-in to your wall unit to charge it also as well. So I'm really liking this. This is really cool. All I did, I just put it in and you have the on off or sleep button at the very top and it connected right away. I can hear, my t I can hear myself talking. <laughs> That's really cool. It gives you the temperature of the bedroom, which is really cool. And then there's the little bassinet with our little, that's a bunny, right? That's a little bunny. And the really cool thing is I can pan, I can tilt. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. I love that you can really tilt the camera. That's like my favorite feature. Yeah, that is nice. Obviously, besides actually seeing the bassinet. That's and it nice. seems like it's very easy to use. It just kind of turns on right away. You don't have to connect to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. It just connects to they're, each other. Yeah, they're already paired for you. Even if we like something better, I think this just for travel alone is phenomenal. That way you don't have to worry about reception. You don't have to worry about certain things. You already have it good to go. And I love how tiny it is. And the image is actually really nice. I like this system. I think the only thing I don't like about it is you would have to anchor it in a certain way and kind of like drill it into the wall or have it standing on a certain place like high above the crib or the bassinet. Like for example, right now, I don't know if you can see it in the back, Andre literally has it standing on a box to kind of overlook the, the little bassinet. But I think if it had maybe some kind of tripod or what else do you think would be good? So here it is, I have to do a little box. Another camera right here. <laughs> I'm just gonna charge the battery, but I do wanna say for both of us, we like it, I'm giving it a 4.5 out of five. We kind of mentioned little things that we're nitpicking. I it's not as high tech. Yeah, it's not as high tech. That's why you have 4.5. We're, yeah. you know, 2020. Yeah, but the thing is- Gotta be smarter than that. It kind of has everything. It gives the temperature of the room, which is actually pretty accurate. You can see the baby, you can tilt, you can pan, you can zoom, which is great, I think. And you can talk both ways. So if I'm in the room and Andre is over there with the monitor and I can say something to be like, hey, can you bring me a glass of water? <laughs> you know what I mean? That I think that's kind of cool. So yeah, 4.5 out of five. We really like this one so far. The next right. one is the Owlet. Smart sock and camera. This system retails for 399 US dollars. So essentially $400. View live heart rate and oxygen levels while streaming video and audio of your baby. I know you can purchase the socks separately if you if you already have a separate like camera system, but this one comes together. And this one had really good reviews, but they were kind of, either you love the system, it works for you and your family, or you don't like the camera and you love the socks. So it was kind of, kind of on different scales. We'll see, I guess. We'll see how complicated this is. I mean, the reason why this is kind of so cool is... <laughs> it's a little foot. I mean, this is pretty kind smart cute. technology right here. Then again, you it can also, I can see you freaking out if the sock comes off and it just starts beeping. You know, like, hey, your baby, you know, <laughs> can't detect a heart rate or oxygen level low. Oh, this is a really tiny camera. Look at this thing. 
Let's see if we can actually turn it on and see the crib, the bassinet. All right. <laughs> it's been like at least 30 minutes later. Been trying to pair the camera. We got the little base, the sock charger connected to the app. So you do need to have an app. You do need to have Wi-Fi. So it does say that it is, the security is there. It's encrypted Wi-Fi, but obviously you can have like a, a VPN, you can have your own encryption in your own home, but this does require an app with your home or wherever you are, it does need Wi-Fi. Hopefully we can connect right now. So it's finishing up. So yeah, I mean, we can kind of, I guess, chat about it. Just the process of um, I installing mean, this. Yeah, installing just like with any other technology, you may have issues mm -hmm. because that's just the way it is. Mm -hmm. Just too many things trying to talk to each other with too many protocols. But this is taking a while to set but, up. Yeah, you just have to set it all up. Oh, it says couldn't be completed. I mean, we're gonna try this one more time and that's it. We're if gonna it's a, give up. We already tried this four different times. Yeah. Ready to pair. Next, put in our Wi-Fi password. Your Outlet camera is being added to your account. Okay. Pairing successful. Okay. Now it's making me check for updates. This is good that we're checking this right now instead of when the baby is here. <laughs> if you guys have the system, both the sock and the camera, and you've tried other systems out, with it or just on its own why did you like this one better receiving video footage it's talking okay there it is oh it's very delayed oh my wow that's yeah it's about one second delay the quality is definitely much better than that camera Got stuck, yo. The camera got stuck. The camera's stuck. <laughs> it's not moving. Uh, hello. <laughs> this is just way too much for me right now. <laughs> so far, the other camera, if you're if you're around the house, the other monitoring system is so much better. It's so much better. All right, so I put I put the thing on my wrist to see if we can make have some kind of reading. It says baby is wiggling. Receiving readings. We already had one reading. It said Andre is 80 BPM, which is your um, heart rate, <laughs> and then 89% oxygen level. So it definitely worked for something. So Baby's readings are normal. Normal. 88. You're losing a percentage of your. Oh, 87 now. No, I'm losing oxygen. <gasps> You're losing oxygen. Let's breathe. Okay. Yeah, I had at least At least that worked. I think we'll definitely buy the sock separately just to see when the baby is here. What is it going to do? Is it start gonna start alerting, making alerts to take it off? Baby is wiggling. I mean, this is definitely like this. I really like the sock and I think a lot of people would. All right, so besides the camera system, we already know we don't like it. It's too glitchy. I'm gonna give the camera system like a good two out of five. It has a camera camera quality is pretty good when it's working. I do like that you can talk both ways. And then the reason why I'm not giving it even a three is because it's super glitchy. You can't move the camera. You need way too many things to make it work. And it's not even working properly. So that's kind of where I am on the camera system. This right here, it actually worked on both of us, which I didn't think it would. <laughs> you just need a good pulse. It's gonna check your oxygen level. But again, we're gonna get the system separately without the camera. All right, so last but not least, this is the next system, and this is the Cubo AI. And this one retails for 189 US dollars, but it's saying it's on sale right now. Original price is 299, and this one has 235 reviews, and it's almost five stars. This one's supposed to be very smart, where it's using software to, pre to predict baby's movements. If baby goes out of certain, let's say, boundary, it uh, notifies it says, you. Baby is crying, a cry detection alert. That's really cool. It has a built in night light, which interesting. It has night vision, 1080p high definition camera. It has 135 degree wide angle lens, 
allows up to 4X zoom, which is kind of cool. But I like that also is saying that if the baby is sleeping on its face, it will detect that for you. So it has a lot of really cool high techy things. This is the biggest box. <laughs> Wonder how big this thing is. How cute is that? It's a tiny little bird. Okay, so with this, you do need an app. So I got the app, I'm connecting, and hopefully it's saying it's already paired. Oh, there it is. Oh, that was much more seamless. Wow, that was really quick. Ooh, and you can record. It's saying the temperature of the room, which is good. You can do all of these different settings, personalize different things for the baby, which is really nice. Okay, now let's see if we can make you do some smart stuff. Let's see, let's have Andre walk. So this right here is like the crib, the crib area, and then on the other side is the danger zone. Let's see if it's gonna tell you if I walked out. Let's yeah. say I'm a baby, I'm like, I'm not allowed, but I'm gonna go. And? Nothing. Because I brought, there you go. There it is. Okay. There's a little bit of a delay, like 10 second delay, but it tells you. You have to have the app on to, obviously to have it looking at the baby to make sure everything is working. So that's the other thing is like, let's say at nighttime, you have to physically have your phone on oh, with the app on. I don't, I don't know. You do, like to have, to watch it? No, to watch, but like if you, you know, it's not like you're gonna be watching the baby all the time. It doesn't send you a, an alert if the baby leaves the safe area. No. Phone is off, let's have Andre walk out, out of the safe zone. And then make sure you walk that way because that's where it kind of detected it. No. Okay, so I do think this one actually does have some potential that doesn't bother me. <laughs> For example, it did work. It did sync up to the phone pretty seamlessly. I do wanna say that the one thing I don't like about the camera in general is you can't move the camera up and down. You can't, well, you can zoom in, but I'm saying you can't really move it. You can't tilt, you can't zoom, you can't pan like the first camera. I'll keep comparing it to that one. And the thing is you do have to have your app physically open to see the camera working or to see it with the baby. But the one thing is we couldn't figure out, I don't know if it even has, has the option, but we couldn't find the option if it does to, let's say the baby starts crying, let's say the baby moved over to a certain point where it's not supposed to go in the danger zone. It does not notify you if the app is not on. Unless we're not finding it, if you guys have this Cubo <laughs> AI, this little birdie, does it work without the app turned on? and doesn't notify you right away because it did not for us. These types of systems I think are great. They do have so much more technology, but if you strictly just want a system within your house with like a camera, with a little monitor, the first one is definitely the way to go for me personally. I like the first one out of all of them. It's so easy. I don't have to worry about connecting to my Wi-Fi, to a Bluetooth, to my phone. It's all connected together, has a really nice monitor. You can talk to the baby. You can sing to the baby if that's what you want. I think the only thing missing is a sound machine, like a sound noise machine. We were just discussing that. Yeah, why don't they? It should, should have it integrated within the monitor, not like a separate system that you need to purchase. But yeah, I'm really fascinated. Like I said, we are gonna get the little sock on its own because we do like, well, Andre likes the idea. <laughs> and we're gonna try that out when the baby is here. I like the first system. We're definitely keeping that. Maybe even look for something better. But I mean, that is just, it's so straightforward, simple. The only thing is you can't really take it with you to our restaurant, you know what I mean? So I think if that's kind of like what we are I think thinking of, we're gonna get our own camera system within the house installed. And that way, if we, you and I are going on a date or something and somebody else is watching the baby and we just kind of want to check on the baby, we can, you know, get into our house security system and that way you don't, we don't need a whole separate baby system. We just have the baby camera system at home. Yeah, I think those systems are a lot more ahead. Yes. Like Rain or Nest. 
um, you can just have cameras and you can hook up to them real quick. Um, and they're all interconnected you. to everything else within the house if you have it already. All right, so that completes our quick little review. Well, it wasn't that quick, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was definitely very fun. I'm so glad we got to do this before the baby is here. That way we can focus on this and not focus on the baby. You know, I wouldn't be able to do this if the baby was already here. You'd be doing all of this <laughs> by yourself. But besides that, please let us know your thoughts on security systems, but for now, Thank you for watching, spending time with us, and we'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye.